right guys so i'm definitely in money saving mode right now because i'm over budget on this rehab so we had a few materials that we need to take back and even though it was only nine dollars and 18 cents that we were getting back from it i'm getting their money back but another thing that's helping me to save money is that we had some materials that were left over from the house that we sold a bunch of building materials like flooring some plumbing materials that we're going to use on this rehab so i saved money on a bunch of just really good tiles so i'm about to go ahead and pick that up and take it down to the property the, the rental rehab I'm about to check on the progress and we should be wrapping this one up in the next couple of weeks me it's uh that time of year where the grass is about to start growing and we want to make sure that we can control it so next week i've got a guy that's going to come through and do the landscaping on it so hopefully we'll get all this uh tall grass down all right so my virtual assistants have been busy at work and just last week my newest virtual assistant she set up an appointment for me that i was able to go by and it's already an escrow for um getting ready to close so we can get that nice little profit and my virtual assistant has been with me for the longest actually set up two appointments for me so while i'm in the area one is maybe five minutes or so from the rental property that we just saw so i'm going to drive by there before my appointment which happens in three days just to get a feel for the house and then we're going to head to the 38128 raleigh area um, where the owner of the property just wants us to visit it and make her an offer All right, so I'm here at the house now and I've got a major issue as far as trying to actually get to the property, but I'll turn the camera around so you can see. So I don't really want to show the house, but there is no driveway here and it's off of a main street. And the only way for me to get to the house would be for me to walk through all the tall grass, which I'm just not about to do with no boots on. So. I have to wait until I get ready to meet with the owner to see what we might be able to do with this one. All right, so I'm at the second property now, and this one actually looks like a pretty good prospect because we have some damage going on. I can see that I probably need a new roof, but the property is lock and the owner didn't give us entry instructions so we're gonna make an offer on this one and see if we can make anything happen and i've actually got a buyer for the area so i might just send him by here to see if he can do a drive-by offer but that's the uh the good thing about having serious cash buyers who can do the numbers um just based off of square footage or what have you but i've got um a couple guys who can just do a drive-by see the house know what has to be done and it's a done deal so this one might be one that i just send right over to one or two of my guys and see if they can make an offer on it even without us getting it on the inside of the house so i just talked to my virtual assistant about this property and told her that it was a pretty good prospect but she brought up a really good point and it's a problem that i need to go ahead and find a solution for so i think i have the solution but 
she asked me what do we do if she is talking to a seller who has a motivation but doesn't really sound like they want to be bothered bothered on the phone or they just say drive by and send me an offer so uh, from now on what we're gonna do when we're dealing with people like that who don't necessarily sound like they're motivated we're gonna send them off for anyway just to see if it sticks it's definitely a numbers game so every no that we get that we send an offer on for a house like this where we're not sure if the um, the owner is serious or not but there's clearly a motivation then I mean we're just that much closer to a yes so we're gonna put a process into place where my virtual assistants can go ahead and start making offers on their own just based off of the the value of the house after it's repaired and also considering the equity that we need and what we need to make out of the house but that's it guys we just had a couple of uh viewings today so i'm about to go ahead and cut it off and work on some some other things at my house on the computer but if you haven't done so please support the page like share and subscribe we finally hit um or actually passed 100 subscribers so um, the page is growing and i really appreciate the support so if you're on your real estate journey or if you're just starting or not even sure how to start, leave a comment below and just let me know how things are going. Keep pushing. And until next time, guys, peace.